James from Mac Dark Graphics here. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to um, update the email order notifications inside Shopify. So um, they're kind of like static and kind of ugly and stuff. Um, you can always install an app, another app, and uh, to deal with them. Or if you have a little uh, confidence with some code, you can um, uh, get in there and, and tinker around with the code. So um, personally, I use like Sublime Text or I use Visual Code uh, Editor. Um, uh, those are two uh, like text programs that I use. So uh, one is Sublime Text, the other one is Visual Code. Um, but um, there's this cool online editor, HTML-Online.com slash editor, and it allows you to use this uh, editor um, for making HTML. So uh, we're going to go over and go over here to go to uh, settings, and then we're going to go to notifications. And then once you're notifications, you're going to see all the different notifications. So you have order confirmation, and edited, and invoice, and all this fun stuff. So uh, sent automatically to the customer after they place their order. That's usually the one you want to deal with. Um, and then the other ones are, you know, miscellaneous. You can go through them. This will be basically for all those. And there's my dog. Okay, anyway, so order confirmation. If you click on that, you have order and then name confirmed. So that's the e email subject. So you can change that. To whatever you want to change that to so you always want to uh, copy and save um, this stuff to um, a text editor that you have so what I'll usually do is I'll just go ahead and put in here order confirmation and then I'll put subject just so I have the original stuff you know uh, and then I'll copy all this email body right and then so you have all that and then if you look at this and you go all the way down it's a little it's a little daunting and the reason um, people don't edit this is because of the way it looks right so they should have to make it look a lot nicer for you they should make it easier but you know it is what it is so you can always preview this and you can see what your code looks like so you go ahead and click there there's your there's your purchase your email and all the fun stuff right so if you want to kind of tweak this you can go ahead and add some of these things here um, you can add the logo you can add uh, other stuff so you can use liquid variables to output color and logo you really don't have a lot of ch uh, um, uh, what's the word control over putting a lot of other things into this email uh, but if you know a little bit of this liquid code which is what these things are bracket bracket blah 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 logo and then this here then you can control you know uh, the, the email logo that goes in there as well as some other things so if you look here they actually reference style sheets they're referencing some other code and stuff that makes it look a certain way here's you know if the shop has a logo then show the logo so people uh, this is already in here so you don't have to put this in here again okay so if you actually have your logo on the checkout screen for uh, over here and you have the logo added it should show in your emails it just doesn't show in the preview so um, if you want to change this to say, for instance, your company name, um, like your uh, order, you probably want to call it this way, person's name, James, you know, your order, um, in this case, it's Miracle, if I could spell it right, botanical. order and then you can put the order number if you want to put here too so you can you can kind of get into that and look down here and scroll through the code and then here's the order name right go ahead and grab that and you go ahead and throw that up here and now if I I'll save it first and I'll do a little preview subject number 99 your order so you don't have to even put it in here because they're it looks like they're pasting the actual order number in there for you so order number your miracle tennis order is confirmed so you can just get rid of that so let's take that out 